This is the Elite Review Podcast coming at you live here. Just kidding, we're not live, but we're coming at you here uh, with a Phantom Menace review, continuing the yeah. Skywalker saga. Uh, make sure you definitely check out our other ones before you get into this one, because we, we talked about New Hope in Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. We're now on Phantom Menace, and we'll be continuing this on. Uh-huh. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to dive right in here. We'll just let you know a little spoiler ahead of time that we're... We're not the hugest fans of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, we're not really big fans of it at all. But uh, we will get into it. So. If, you, if you disagree with anything we say, feel free to. Yeah, feel free to let us know. I'd love to talk about it. I'd love to see Maybe. why people love these movies and why they don't like them. So yeah. let us know in the comments below. Uh, but anyway, let's get into a plot synopsis real quick here. Start diving in. So if you guys don't know the plot already, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Two Jedi escape a hostile blockade to find allies and come across a young boy who may bring balance to the Force, but the long dormant Sith resurface to claim their original glory. There we go. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's, let's dive right in. General thoughts on the movie, just real quick. Um, what would you just quickly summarize your thoughts about this movie, just quick? Well, it's not the greatest. Um, what about you? Is that your slogan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, I would say <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's not the worst yeah, there yeah. is of Star Wars, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, um, it is pretty it's bad. a movie that I think could have been done amazingly had it been executed well. Um, and I think all the I think all the pieces are there of the puzzle to work. I just don't think they were all connected at all in a I good way. I think someone needed to help uh, George Lucas a bit. <laughs> yeah, this needed a different director, for yeah. sure. I think George Lucas came up with some cool ideas, for sure, but like they didn't, they didn't come together. No. The execution was very <laughs> yeah. messy. So, per usual, we're going to dive in and uh, do just our 1 to 10 for each uh, kind of aspect of the movie. So, uh, we're going to start here with the plot. Scale of 1 to 10, what did you give the plot? I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> give the plot a 3. Nice. Because it's just not compelling to me. Mm-hmm. I think, in the first place, young Anakin was a bad route to go. Yeah. I think he should have at least been like a teenager. Yeah. So everything that in the plot that just happens around him, I, I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. And they're just kind of like, well, you can't train him because he has fear. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, if they trained him, wouldn't he kind of grow out of that fear? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, every kid's scared. <laughs> and he just um, left his mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just left his mom. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty dumb. Lot, lots of stuff like that. And the general plot of the whole movie... I just really don't like the politics or anything. I don't think that that should be in a Star Wars movie. Yeah, it shouldn't. Or even if it is, like, not so much of it. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, so I don't really have much good to say. Yeah. Um, the plot for me, without just diving into everything I don't like, because we don't want to waste time on that, um, for me it's a four. So uh, I'm fine with giving it a three even, like you did, but I'll give it a four because it's... I mean, there's, I guess, certain aspects that are kind of okay, I guess, but nothing really special to me. Um, I agree, Young Anakin, bad choice. Mm-hmm. Qui-Gon Jinn dying, pretty bad choice in my opinion. I would have liked to see him continue on. Uh, Darth I, Maul dying, I, I would have liked to see that happen. Uh, sorry, I would have liked to see him alive still, even though they brought him back in the Clone Wars and crap. I would have liked to see him in the prequel movies. Mm. Uh, I think he should have been a prominent villain. Like, he should have been the villain of the prequels. He really should have. Um... Uh, the plot's really done with Palpatine. I 100% do not get what he's trying to do in this movie or his plan in nope. this movie. He does have a plan. Like, they make that clear, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> and I hate the Federalist... Or is it the Federalist? The Separatist, sorry. The Separatist, Separatist. dudes. Like, the two yeah. dudes that are, like, chameleon-like dudes. Or yeah, whatever. they're very lame. <laughs> they're corny. Uh, the plot's dumb with the whole... Um, Jar Jar's race, I forget what you call them. Oh, that was so dumb. Or, like, when they go down into the water, I'm like, Egh. Yeah, a lot of it's just, like, all over the place, really. I think it's such a messy plot. Anakin doesn't hold it up at all because he's just a little kid. So everything about him is just so childish and, like, unbelievable, really. Yeah. Um, and he's such a small kid at the same time. He's not even just, like, a like a teen or even a young teen. He's, like, he's, such a young he's little kid. He's nine in this movie. Yeah, so uh, a lot of the plot's just really bad. But yeah. Let's let's move on. Um, characters. What do you give the characters in this movie? Uh, I almost want to bump this one up a bit, but uh-huh. I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. <laughs> Just cause, I guess Qui Gon Jinn's pretty cool, but he still doesn't have anything amazing to offer. Yeah. 
Like, they should have done more with him. He, he wasn't as cool as he could have been. Mm-hmm. Um, Darth Maul is... Would be a great villain if they just had more screen time with him. Yeah. I think he had, like, six minutes of screen time in this yeah, movie, which small. is just not enough. Uh, although the end battle was pretty cool. He's not... He's not, like, amazing. No, not enough. Um, the Emperor... Eh. <laughs> little Anakin, I don't like him. Nope. <laughs> Obi-Wan's kind of lame in this movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's pretty lame. What do you think of Padme? Uh, she, eh. <laughs> she's lame. <laughs> well, I don't like her. And then Jar Jar Binks is just awful. Oh, it's like God. they were trying to turn this into like a kid's cartoon or something. Easily. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, for me, I went a little higher than that. I gave it a 6 out of 10. Dang. Um, mostly because I, I guess... If I'm just looking at the characters, because we'll get to a dialogue section, which is completely different. I think all their dialogue's dumb and everything dumb there, but as far as characters themselves, like I, I like Qui-Gon a lot. Um, I don't think he's done super well or anything like that, but himself as a character, just thinking about Qui-Gon Jinn, I'm like, that's a cool Jedi. I like that he trains yeah. everyone. Um, and then Darth Maul, you know, of course, he's pretty dope. Like Even though he doesn't have enough screen time and stuff like that, he is a villain that I'm still like, he's a pretty cool villain. <laughs> yeah. um, and I love the fighting between all of them at the end and stuff. Kind of makes his characters super cool for me. Mm-hmm. Everything else pretty much sucks. Uh, Jar Jar sucks. Um, his race of characters, they all suck. Um, Anakin's mom I'm not a big fan of. Anakin I'm not a fan of. Padme I'm not a fan of. Like uh, Every character is you just... You know, I eh. do I do like seeing Sam Jackson, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, that's pretty great. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to see the Jedi. I don't even like sick. Yoda that much in this. Me neither. It's kind of lame. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Not not very good characters, but I, I would be fine going lower on that. But um, dialogue. What do you give the uh, dialogue here? <laughs> I'm also going to give that a three. Because the dialogue, honestly, is pretty awful. George is not the best with the dialogue. No. Um, he, let's see... Um, the dialogue is very bland in this. It is. And I don't think it's the actors, I just think it's their lines. It's just so bland and boring yeah. most of the time. Like, mm-hmm. you don't even, like, know character traits of a lot of the characters. Like, I don't really know character traits of Qui-Gon Jinn too much. Like, he's mm-hmm. wise, I guess. <laughs> um, and then all the stuff between Anakin and Padme is just so gross to watch. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so cringe. Oh, it's and, bad. <laughs> yeah, Darth Maul doesn't even get, like, any lines. He nope. gets probably three lines in the whole movie. Yep. It's just, it's it's pretty pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I gave the dialogue a four, um, but I'm totally fine if someone were to even give it, like, a one or a two. Um, <laughs> it's just atrocious. I, I don't think George Lucas is a good script writer whatsoever. No, he really needed some help on this yeah, one. Yeah, I, um, everyone just has really dumb lines. I think Qui-Gon gets such basic dumb lines in this movie, but I know Liam Neeson's a fantastic actor. Uh-huh. There's a lot of good actors here, it's just they, yeah. Yeah, they don't have good dialogue, not good direction for their dialogue either, um, and then just a lot of times they say things really boring and monotone. Anakin's dialogue just cringy, like sometimes oh, so like, cringe. makes me just like hate him, <laughs> like he's so annoying sometimes. Yeah. And then yeah, like I said, between him and Padme, it's just atrocious, and it gets even worse in Attack of the Clones, sadly. <sighs> um, so yeah, dialogue... Uh, it needs a much better script than what it got. So. Well, much, much, much better. Yeah. Um, moving on to the action. I guess, what do you think of the action of this movie? Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm just because of that final battle, I'm going to give it a five. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, I guess the little battle that Qui-Gon Jinn and, you know, Darth Maul had yeah. before in the desert is kind of cool, but it lasts like five seconds. Yeah. So that's kind of cool, but... Besides that, in the final battle, there's nothing, like, amazing. Like, I really hate all of the stuff with Jar Jar at the end, when he's, like... Oh, my gosh. He's, like, like accidentally... Yeah, he's, like, accidentally killing everyone. <laughs> it's like, come on, George. We don't need this. No. And then, like, Anakin flying in the ship and stuff. Uh, it's so stupid. <laughs> um, it's ridiculous. But that final battle is one of the coolest lightsaber fights, I think, yeah. in all of Star oh, yeah. Wars. Easily. It's so awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll give it a five just because that final battle. Nice. What about you? So I gave it a six, um, but yeah, mostly it's held up by that final battle. <laughs> yeah. Um, if besides that, I don't think there's a lot of cool action really in this. Uh, but that final battle, you know, with Duel of the Fates and uh, just all the choreography there too is just pretty amazing. 
mm-hmm. um, and it's cool to see two Jedi versus a Sith and that he can take them both on um, so I, I like the action in this movie quite a bit that's one of the best lightsaber battles ever in all of Star Wars right. um, and it's would well you, done would you call the pod racing scene would it really be action would it I wasn't thinking so not too much I wouldn't think uh, so that part, that part's okay it's, it's pretty unbelievable fun-ish. but it's it's fun um so yeah, that's a little fun, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> um, visuals of this. What would you give the visuals? I guess or the looks. Uh, I'm, I give it a four, just cause I kind of need. I want something a little bit higher. Yeah. Everything looks good. It's just all the Jar Jar stuff and like his yeah. whole race. All the stuff looks like awful to me. <laughs> I agree. Like it's it's not very good. Um, and then even like the pod racing scene is like. It's like a fun scene yeah. and stuff until I see that that one creature guy that Anakin's like against. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks so bad. Yeah, he's ridiculous. So I guess this is okay for like a '90s movie, but like today it just doesn't hold up, and no. it's really it's really bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree, man. I I honestly gave it a little too high. I'd probably go lower on it. I gave it like a seven, but I think I was mostly holding it up by the final battle. Uh, yeah, cause cause I like that stuff looks good. Yeah, I like the portal stuff that keeps like coming uh-huh. up, and then the lightsabers themselves. I um, even think like the scenery and stuff is good. Yeah, Darth just... Maul looks really cool. Um, but yeah, we're just mostly on Tatooine again, and <laughs> we've seen enough <laughs> desert planets, Star Wars. Stop giving us more. <laughs> yeah, for real. So, um, here's what we do at the end of all these movies: we average our score of what we give it all together. So. Out of 10, our final score combined with all this. Uh, you want to go first? What's your uh, final score? 3.6. 3.6 out of 10. Yeah. You guys go. What would you give it on a star rating out of 5? Uh, 2 out of 5. <laughs> nice. <laughs> For me, uh, I'm going to give it a 5.4 out of 10. That's my total there. And I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Nice. So, uh, yeah. Um, this... And my score could possibly go higher if I watch it. When I watch Attack of the Clones again. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't remember that movie very well, but I will be rewatching it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll be talking about that one. I, I know for sure my score will be going much lower on that one. Yeah. And this is already a pretty low score. <laughs> That's why I'm not much of a prequel fan. At least we um, got an okay one after that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, um, I was just going to see, uh, do you agree with the Rotten Tomatoes score of 52% for this movie? Um... Nah, it should be a little bit lower. <laughs> I agree. I like think it's 40. 40. Even I'm fine with 30s, but yeah, for 40, 40 I'd, I'd something like a 40 at the out of 100. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's too bad, especially when you think of like how this came out after Return of the Jedi, like what 20 or 30 years? Yeah, Probably, like 20 years later ish. I can imagine uh, all the fans being like super coming back excited. to watch Phantom Menace, and then you're like. Woo. Like, that was okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I would be pretty disappointed. <laughs> yeah. I'd, like, I'm pretty sure everyone was until the sequels came out. And they're like, actually, the prequels are really good. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, well, do you recommend this movie? Do you think, would you recommend this to uh, somebody? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could skip this one. <laughs> yeah. If you're, I guess if you're a Star Wars fan, you want to see all of them, then yeah, go ahead and watch all of them, of course. But, but this one isn't really needed. If you're looking to dab into Star Wars movies and you haven't really seen them at all, I would say watch almost yeah. every other movie before you watch this one. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna watch, like, the Clone Wars and Darth Maul's in it or whatever, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I don't think it's needed to enjoy the whole tri- or the whole saga. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty low point of the saga for me. I mean, I haven't seen anybody say it's their favorite movie. A lot of fans that are even prequel fans don't say that, but they, they still hold it pretty high, though. They think it's pretty good. Yeah. It's not me, though. Not us here, I don't think. Nope. Um, so how we feel here so i'm we sorry, were sorry. We, yeah we're yeah. sorry to the prequel fans out there <laughs> yeah i know you guys are gonna hate us for it but that's that's our true opinions there um yeah. so definitely let us know what you think because we it's obviously really fun to talk star wars anytime it's so um, fun so if you love this movie please let us know why it'd be great to see uh maybe we're missing some perspectives here things that we're missing out on you know but uh we would love to talk about it let us know in the comment section or dm us on instagram we're at daily review podcast there uh, we do a bunch of fun stuff, and make sure you check out our other videos on the Skywalker Saga. Um, we got WandaVision episode breakdowns coming in each and every week. Got episode 3 coming out here. We'll have episode 4 soon. Heck yeah. And look out for our Attack of the Clones review. It'll be coming out soon. That'll be a fun that, one. That'll be very if fun. If you don't like that one, you're going to have a lot of fun with us here. If you do like it, then <laughs> we're really sorry for how that one's going to go. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there, and uh, yeah, just let us know what you guys think. But Thanks for tuning in. You guys have a great week. See you guys.